Okay, so today I want to talk about move and copy, two commonly used commands uh, in MA3 that are very helpful to know about. So we're going to use them in the context of presets today, but you can also use them in the context of uh, pretty much anything you can store in MA, cues, sequences, playbacks, uh, whatever, um, and it's all the same syntax. So let's go over to our dimmer presets here. So there are several different ways that you can copy. The easiest one, at least when you're on the PC versions, um, is to um, left click, hold down on your object and drag uh, to the bottom or to the top as well. I think the top works uh, if I, yeah, it's designed to go down. Um, so once I do that, you're gonna see there are multiple options here. Um, I'll talk about other these others at some point. Delete and label are fairly, um, you know, self-explanatory. Store, assign is a little confusing. So uh, there's a difference between move and copy. So moving will allow you to move a preset or a queue or whatever um, to a different location. Copy will actually make a duplicate of it. So um, let, let me show you that here. I'm gonna go move and I'm gonna go over to this preset I'm gonna click it all right so now you can see it moved from preset 5 to preset 2 here my 100% intensity um, I could do that with this one as well move there maybe if I wanted to like you know move these to the opposite direction I have them going up from the left before now we're going down from the left um, so that's move, and you can do that with pretty much uh, any preset move. Yep, and it will just, uh, this is very helpful uh, if you need to rearrange your presets um, or your cues or whatever um, to a different location. You know, sometimes I'll start setting up a show file, and then I'll find out that, like, you know, I need an extra two intensity presets. And I want those to be, they're all under 25%. And so I want them to be between 25% and 0%. And so I need to move the palettes over so that way I can do that. Uh, very simple. Copy is similar. So I'll select copy. You'll see it's in my preset here. And I will go over here. All right. And now it has, you'll see that this preset is still here. It's just made a copy of it. Um, and it has stuck it in preset five because that's where I clicked. And you can see here in my command line history that the syntax for that is copy preset 1.1 at preset 1.2 um, or 1.5, sorry. Um, and so you could also type this into the command line. Um, if you're on a console, you can use the key copy preset one, you know, 0.1 at preset 1.5 um, instead of doing the drop the drop down method. But you could use both. Um, so this is handy if you want to create a let's say you want to create like an intensity preset that is very similar or maybe assigned to a different group of fixtures but you want it to be exactly the same or just slightly different so it's easier just to copy it and then make the adjustment um, in it instead of you know whatever but I don't want this so I'm going to delete it um, and you can do that with whatever so you'll see it'll put number two there so you can distinguish it if I copy that again it'll put number three and on, so on and so forth. So that is copying and moving, uh, two very useful commands um, that you'll use a lot during your setup and programming of your show files.